One, two, three. What do you think? Looks very different than before. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Oh. It's, it's really amazing. It's oh. bad ass. A whole new look out here. Wood railings, seating in front. Suddenly, it's the kind of place where you don't expect to bring kids for a birthday party. It's an adult bar. This is a well, a well needed fresh start right here. Real happy. Who wants to see the inside? Oh All right, go ahead. This is exciting. This is really, really like blows my mind. This is a different place. This is the concept that we should have started from the beginning. Look at the walls. We not only change the color, we change the texture of the walls. It creates warmth, intimacy, the prohibition artwork on the walls. Those are all arrested bootleggers that are around the room. And of course, the still. Now, the still has two features in it. In addition to the smoke of the still, we have clear liquid running through it. Moonshine is clear. All of this was built in 36 hours by Blue Sky Services, a local company. Great job. Now I want you guys to look good. So, no more crazy costumes. Here you go, guy. Put that hat on. There we go, man. That is moonshine. <laughs> this was about far more than a bar to me. This was always about a family. You guys fought so hard for this. It means more than any bar in the world. Oh. And out of respect for your family, there's one more thing that has to be hung in this bar. A photograph of the family that made this all happen. Go hang at any place you want. We open in about an hour. Let's go to work. Congratulations. You guys ready to see your new bar? Yeah. One, two, three. Bars on Bourbon Street suffer from a sameness. And to make this bar successful, I had to make it stand alone in a crowd of 55 other bars in the immediate neighborhood. I, I think it's great. Everything catches your eye. I can't wait to open it up and let these people have a good time in there. This bar is all about a guy by the name of Edward Dubois. Edward Dubois actually lived in this building. And he was a barber and a philanthropist and a womanizer. And legend has it that he was murdered by a bunch of his mistresses. That a fact is his ghost is in that building. Guys, go inside, take a look. Oh my lord, it's big back here. Let's not run into each other. This place is wild. Let's go. Cool. Better than I could even imagine. What do you think, guys? That looks awesome. great. Edward Dubois was a barber, so this fits our concept. Somebody sits down, pour a shot, and you watch how they line up for these shots walking down the street. I bet you could sell a couple hundred shots a night from here. You agree? Yeah, I'm ready for it. The shot chair is like unbelievably cool. Twirl me. <laughs> you walk by there, you see it, it makes you just want to get in it. This is a key point. I called my buddies at Fry Fabrication and they did a complete workstation for us. Now, rather than facing this way when people walk by, you face this way. It's a much cleaner bar back there. It's a lot more efficient. We'll be able to pump drinks out as quickly as possible. That's what it's all about on Bourbon Street. You gave me a challenge to create the best cup, right? Right. Guys, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> the Resurrection Cocktail. Wow. I think it is, baby, walking down Bourbon Street. You see that, and you see blue, suddenly we're branded, guys. Brad, is that the best cup on the street? Yeah, it's the best cup. You see it coming. Steve, is that the best cup on the street, buddy? Yeah, it's nice. That cup has something that no one else has. I'm happy with it. It's going to make people go to the new bar. One, two, three. Holy cow. Oh, my Holy. God. Wow. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Wow. Sick. <laughs> Holy oh. cow. You guys ready Are you to serious? Wow. Holy crap. Do a grass angel. Come on, Daniel.
It takes a lot to make me speechless. I'm, I'm almost there. This past summer, our best week was $100,000. We thought we knew what we were doing, and we thought we had a good handle on it. But this is a better bar, and it's ours, and it's beautiful. When I got here, they saw the homes that were gone. But there was an American flag in front that wasn't destroyed. This is an incredibly resilient community. And I want to create something special for this bar. And here's what we created. Brews but never broken down here. This makes it feel like home right here. It's like a front porch. I just want to open. Like, I really just want to get people in the door. Let people see right now. You have no idea how much this means to all of us. I feel so blessed. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. What do you think of those frozen drink machines? Frosty Factory gave me that cocktail machine. Next, I got big ass fans to give us all the fans for in here. Let's go see the kitchen. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. This is awesome. Look at this. Unbelievable. This is a Hoshizaki ice machine. Nobody makes the cubes like this. Because it's so thin, it has a lot of surface area. So it chills the drink faster. Let me show you what we did back here. We had to get everything out of here. Then we had to put in all new equipment. Look at it now. Holy cow. Unbelievable. It's so good. Aaron business. Yes. I love John Taffa. I love Bar Rescue. Thank you. Big Mike's has been serving people in this town since 1989. I couldn't imagine running a place that wasn't called Big Mike's to still have our sign. Couldn't change that sign, could I? Is that sign pop or what? Absolutely. You can't wait to go in, Kat. <laughs> uh, um, it's killing me. <laughs> go! Area, I put in a brand new floor, 13 tabletops, and oh six God. TVs. No we have two solid workstations, two future POS systems, brand new beer taps. We had USB ports installed from bar juice, four tabletops along the wall, and eight brand new TVs. Look at this. Brand new Cisco kitchen equipment, a brand new double batch pizza oven from Turbo Chef Technologies, and then I got Manitowoc ice machines to give you the first ever of their new machine that makes that custom high-end ice now. Wow. <laughs> to see it like this, it's just, it's phenomenal. You happy? Oh my John. I am speechless. That bar brought me to tears. It feels like a brand new home. Being the biggest rescue ever, this remodel came down to the wire. I had to get the entire playground done finished painting, grate the baseball field, and put the final touches on the bar in a matter of hours. Now it's time to see the people of Luis's reaction to the remodeled heart of their community. What a week this has been. This is a community center. Kids play here. The community meets here. It's an important part of Luisa. We wanted to make certain that Luisa had pride again, and a place where people could come and put these hurricanes behind us. New fence. Fix the playground for the kids and the families. We created a whole new inside with seating. Yeah. We also fixed the basketball court. Everything you need for families to come back and be in the center of the community again. There's one more thing I want to show you guys. Let's go over this way. <laughs> Baseball is very important here. Seeing kids play here is very important. So not only did we want to fix the field, we fixed all the lights so we can play night baseball again. Wow. Mira, <laughs> carajo. Oh! You can shoot it, you can shoot it. That's hot. You got your bar back. Oh, my God. Oh, mira la bandera de Puerto Rico. Oh. I see a carajo, and I almost passed out. We never knew that we were going to come out of this. And now look at it. OK, you all can come in.